Hey and welcome to High 45, a discussion about the future impact of this week's world and tech news leading towards a singularity. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And this is High 45. Yeah. We have a lot of epic stories tonight. And it's still cold. It is. <laughs> I joined him. Yep. <laughs> um, you, 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 My you, through? You, okay. Yeah. Uh, first one I want to talk about is Carl Sagan. It's a lovely little four minute rant about why we might not actually be smart enough to understand That's the universe. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, who did I say? Carl Sagan. Whoops. Carl Sagan's Neil's dead. He is. Sorry. That, 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 <laughs> very soon, aren't they? Yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's come back sorry. to life and uh, he's now uh, reaping minds. Indeed. Uh, next story is about the new rock band, and now they are actually saying that one of their objectives is to actually train people how to use normal musical instruments. And a final one is this fantastic little thing where you can actually browse the universe without the Earth being there. That looks really cool. You should check it out. Cool. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about mobile apps and how they're kind of taking over the... Well, I guess the mobile web's taking over apps and how apps are kind of creating these walled gardens, which is a bit annoying. Sweet. Um, Twitter's doing... They've got a new... Sh uh, uh, bleh, L Shortener, which, and they're doing some awesome recommendation stuff. At least they're planning on. Um, there's also uh, Falcon X or Falcon 9 from the SpaceX program that just launched off and that went successfully. Um, and just uh, Sweden's also planning on banning cash, which is pretty cool. That is kind of epic. Future of, I guess, a cashless society, which yeah. is happening now. Yeah. Well, um, since you've got four, did you want to start? Yep. My Sweet. laptop's just deciding not to charge. Power is gone. If anyone wants to send me a charger. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Oh, should I start if you want yeah, to try and work that us. out? Okay. Yeah. Well, first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and actually speaking about this, he brought up an inf interesting um, idea, which was that we share 98% of our DNA with chimpanzees, and there could actually be just the slight possibility that we're not smart enough to understand the universe. Uh, this is not something I really agree with, I must admit, um, and, because it, it discounts oh, a lot I of... I, it does discount, like, societal evolution. And, yeah, culture and stuff. Yeah. But I, I did like the, I, I think he actually made the observation, it wasn't in this rant, but in one before, that about, say, the, the, the idea of the singularity and how much further forward we're going to go and people are like, oh, it won't be that much different. But if you tried to talk to someone in the past, say 6,000 years in the past, you'd be, you'd roughly be able to. Say, like, it'd yeah. take a while, but you could roughly, roughly do it. The idea of the singularity is try and speak to a goldfish. It's just no possible way. Less than that, like, <laughs> you know, like an amoeba, so... It, yeah. And the, uh, bacteria. Yeah, and that's the next type of leap that we're looking at for this next uh, next big leap. But it, it was great that I thought him actually bringing up this discussion, mm. uh, and there was a like thousand plus comments on Reddit, reading through them were fantastic, that we are really only 2% difference in uh, compared to monkeys, but... 1%, wasn't it? Uh, I thought it was 2%, I thought it was 98. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just the very fact that we're like, oh, why can't we speak to aliens? I think that was the question he was yeah, addressing yeah, yeah. or something like that. And um, he said, well, why would we want to speak to aliens? How many aliens have you spoken to today? And, I mean, you look at, like, parrots and monkeys and all of that. The idea of us speaking to them is just laughable. We could get our, like, most brilliant mind, like Stephen Hawking, and actually, like, give them to him and say, oh, my God, look at him. He's worked out all these amazing things. And I say, yeah. oh, my God, that's so cute. Look, little Jimmy did the exact same thing. He's on the fridge at the moment. It's just yeah. great. I don't know. Well, what, what do you think about it? Well, it's them? amazing how, um, like, they they found girls. Or was it a little girl left in the the woods, the mm -hmm. in the jungle? No, in the jungle. Yeah, she it, she was just a savage. Like she had no communication, and she was just yeah, true. <laughs> like it, it shows that you know, without our entire societal education system and what the twenty plus years of yeah you know, indoctrination formal education that the, the entire society needs to train. train us, yeah, to get us to that level, then we wouldn't operate. Yeah. It, it really is that that's become the evolution yeah. that's gone through, that we've been actually able to standardize that across everywhere, which I think is the big thing. That, I mean, sure, it's only a 2% difference, and sure, when you apply it to large things, but the idea that we're not smart enough to understand, that I, it's, I, I don't think it's true. No, no, I think it is. I, well, collectively, you can. Like, individually, no. No, right? individually, no. But I like his point that, um, you know, us putting up, say, the Hubble telescope and doing all these amazing things, mm -hmm. we, we put this self-importance on it that, you know, we're so, you know, smart, we're so much better than everything else in this planet. Which we yeah. are on this planet, but... I mean, it's just a, a speck in yeah. the sky. Like, it's really nothing that amazing, but... And it's yeah. like when you start getting into, in, um, into intelligence augmentation in the future, you know, when you're talking like a thousand times, even just a double um, intelligence increase, that's just ridiculous. intense. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> with technology, we're, we'll be talking like, you know, a thousand time yeah. intelligence increase. That's if I can get my laptop to charge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same as with the goldfish again, that it's it's kind of hectic. But it's, it's it's a nice way to think about that, um, yeah. 
Right. I, I, you should look at the uh, look at the the rant and see what you think. It definitely joined a discussion on Reddit. Um, I think the top one is that we don't need to be smart enough to understand the universe. We just need to be smart enough to create an intelligence smarter than ourselves. Which I thought was rather poignant. I thought that was uh, yeah, kind of cool. The platformed. Yeah, that's it. And well, even yeah. just basic evolution, as long as we can keep on breeding towards the right thing. Yeah. yeah. We don't have an idiocracy type thing. <laughs> Good movie. We have a black president. Hells yeah. Same as the movie. Ah, right. I, was, I wasn't just I wasn't being... sure. I was just saying. <laughs> casual racism. I wasn't, I wasn't doing any sort of casual racism. <laughs> Don't worry, you can't see it. Movie. I... Is... <laughs> you guys suck. At least we're not watering our plants with, you know, Gatorade. It's what plants crave. <laughs> Electrolytes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my story is... Uh, it's a matchable rant by the dude who... I'm thinking founded like the White Pages app or something. I don't know. Cool. But anyway, um, there's this. We've always thought of this. It's a bit weird at the moment how our, the mobile um, sort of platforms at the moment are you know iPhone, Android, and I guess like Palm, mm -hmm. and or you got Windows and, and BlackBerry and stuff. But it's weird that if you want to put an app for for the mobile, you have to create a different app on every single one of those platforms. Yeah, that's which just is retarded. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then on top of that, you have to go through all their different policies and procedures. Like, Apple is notorious for just being bastards when it comes to <laughs> wanting to put an app on their store because they can deny pretty much anything, even down to, like, you know, that button's too glossy because it infringes one of our glossy button patterns or whatever. It's a bit bizarre. Um, and what I've thought for a long time now, and what we both thought for a long time now, is that it, eventually it's just going to be the web. Why should you have to make an app for each individual yeah. phone when you can just make an app that can use all the the features on the phone, like the GPS, the camera, the whatever else you want on there, and just use that in a standard web app. But, and I think that this article was trying to say, like, this is what you should be doing. You should be focusing more on your web app mm -hmm. rather than your mobile app. And they've got stats to prove it. They've, um, apparently, just last April, um, 72 million users accessed a website compared to 69 million users who used an application. And it's growing, like... 25% year to year growth or whatever. <laughs> so it is showing that more people are actually using websites on their on their mobiles than they are the actual well, that apps. That was the original idea, yeah. I thought. Like when the first iPhone came out, I there was no that. app store. There, there, there really was not until yeah. the 3G because they thought that, well, let's that, just do the, the things on there. But yeah. I think this could be like the intermediary step. But okay. Apple, they won't give it up now because that's where all oh, the money no, is. Of course. They got the. Because in this article saying, like, yeah. Bank. Like you, you don't make anywhere near as much on a mobile, on, on a web app. No, versus a mobile app. Yeah, but uh, a lot of people, a lot of people are doing it. Like uh, apparently, Google Voice, when they were denied um, access on the the iPhone, they've just made a web app that just uses uh, <laughs> HTML5 <laughs> and just SMSing and email, Brilliant. which is pretty good. And well, HTML5 is probably they try to really push as a big thing. I mean, like you look at Flash not being um, yeah. allowed on there. That like when you say on the web, it's really like the browser and the new standards, which HTML5 is all about that. Hey? Yeah, but it hopefully they'll just um, you know start allowing more. I guess web-based access to the phone features. Yeah, they're saying that it, it was, it's catching up pretty quickly with the, some of the new releases, so, especially with HTML5. Um, that's pretty cool. Oh, and, and linking in with that, Reddit's just launched a a new mobile app or mobile, sorry, web app. Let's just say uh, mm. <laughs> a website for mobiles. <laughs> There we go. Stop calling it an app. Fuck this app shit. Like, yeah, we're gonna. Do you know, apps also short for Apple. <laughs> That's a bit sneaky, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just quickly mention this thing because it's cool. Um, and then I'll rant. We can rant a bit about the app because okay. it's like, 